All right, YouTubers and desk jockeys out there in the Matrix, welcome back to War Thunder with the Angry Nerd. Today we will be taking a look at the LA-5. The LA-5 was a development or a uh, refinement of the LAG-3 and was one of the Soviet Air Force's most capable warplanes. Um, early in the winter of 1941 and 2, two of the LAG designers attempted to correct um, some of the deficiencies of the LAG-3, which its main issue was the fact that it was um, underpowered. Um, they tried to correct this by experimentally uh, fitting a LAG-3 with a more powerful ASH-82 radial engine. Since the LAG was powered by an inline engine they accomplished this by grafting on the nose of an SU-2 which used the ASH-82 engine um, to the airframe of the LAG-3. So they took the nose of an SU-2 and put it on the LAG-3 airframe. Now um, all of this work was unofficial and took place in a small hut beside uh, the airfield where they were stationed. When the prototype first took flight in March, the result was extremely pleasing. The fighter finally had enough uh, power that allowed it to perform as well in the air as it uh, had been suggested on paper. After flying the LAG-5 uh, Air Force te test pilots declared that it was superior to the Yak-7 and intensive flight tests began in April. After only a few weeks the design was modified further uh, cutting down the rear fuselage to give the pilot better visibility. By July, the fighter, now known as the LA-5, was ordered into mass production. And incomplete LAG-3 airframes were converted to the new LA-5 configuration. While still inferior to the best German fighters at high altitudes, the LA-5 proved to be every bit their match closer to the ground. With most of the air combat over Eastern uh, Europe, or the East, not Eastern Europe, but the Eastern Front um, taking place at altitudes under 5,000 meters or 16,400 um, feet, the LA-5 was very much um, in its element. Further refinement of the aircraft incorporated a fuel injected engine which lightened the aircraft even more and fixed slats to improve all around performance. This um, latest modification was the LA-5FN and we've become the definitive version of the aircraft. A full circle turn took 18 or 19 seconds. Altogether 9,920 of the LA-5 and all of its variants were built. Later refinements of the aircraft would lead to the LA-7.
so let's take a look at the tree for a second. In the research tree you will find the LA5 in the third column from the left fourth tab down. Now the regular LA5 is a tier 2 fighter but the LA5F and the LA5FN are tier 3 fighters. So, um, I found it interesting that they took the um, lag and spliced the uh, SU-2 engine on it. So let's just take a look at these aircraft for a minute. I went ahead and put a lag in the line up here so that we could take a look. Now this is the LA-5. You can see how the tail and everything. Now let me switch to the lag. It's the exact same thing. Your difference is up here in the engine. Let's look at something else right quick. Hold on. Okay, so look at the engine cowling here of the SU-2 and the lag, it's very similar. So there's your lag 3, there's your SU-2, and there's your LA-5. Very, very interesting. Look at... It's a later version of the SU-2. I can see the uh, similarities. It's daddy, it's mama, and baby. There you go. <laughs> Alrighty, let's send this to holiday right quick. And since there, I cannot send this uh, crew slot to holiday so um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in these other two LA um, the 5F and the 5FN now that may throw me into a um, tier 3 game but that'll be alright the lag can handle it now my lag is not, uh, none of them are completely modified. So we still have a little bit more miles per hour. We can squeak out of it. We can reduce the turn time a little bit. And we've got a lot to rate of climb that we can still add. So the LA-5 is a rank 2 with a battle rating of 3.3. Its current uh, max speed as it sits right now is 379 miles per hour. Its turn time is 21.8 and it is equipped with two 20, 20 millimeter Shavak cannons and those things have a really nice um, rate of fire. You can see them right there coming out of the engine cowling just above the engine. 
so they really can kick kick some butt. Now the LA5F, right, and it is not completely modified. Um, uh, I have a lot. Matter of fact, I haven't done anything to increase the speed, reduce the turn time, or gain any rate of climb. So it's not even really worth uh, sight no stats for either of these two because uh, I haven't really done anything to upgrade them at all. And any stats I'll give you would be incorrect. And we can look here. The LA5 also has available the uh, winter camouflage. Which if you look close, they even made it look like they just whitewashed it. They still gave you a little bit of the summer camouflage coming around the star there. So it just looks like they whitewashed the summer camouflage and you can still see a little bit of it. I thought that was pretty interesting. Here is your standard camouflage for the LA-5. Um, I'll go over the LA-5F and the LA-5FN. Um, focus on them in the next uh, videos when I get around to doing um, Tier 3. So, that being said, let's uh, jump into a game and see what we can do with these LA-5s. Alright, let's see what kind of match we pick up here with the LA-5s. <coughs> Pelelu domination map. Now initially I'm going to instead of jumping right into the battle I'm going to take a look at the statistics to see what uh, type of aircraft we're going to be going up against. Since I do have these tier 3 planes the 5F and 5FN Hurricanes, KF-61s, Avengers, Mitchell, KF-45, E-1s, Lag 38s, Typhoon Mark 1A. Yak-9T. Air Cobras, okay. Alright, we're going to go in with the weakest of the two back on the volume a little bit now I really have not done much flying in these LA-5s uh, simply because the first couple of times that I did fly them I have found them um, to be real touchy um, with the joystick. So it looks like we got a three on one match happening over here. I hate it when people are outnumbered. So I'm going to drop in on hurricane number two.
Okay, we took care of that. We have a P-38 Lightning behind us. I do not think he's going to be able to turn with me, so I'm going to see if I can outturn him. have worked our way around on him. And we got him. Go ahead and reload. But I am pretty severely damaged. My, uh, I'm having to use the joystick cor correct to roll that I've got going on. I don't know where they hit me, but got a little roll happening here. I'm going to turn away and see if I can regain some altitude. But this typhoon has other plans for me. Wow, I didn't know the British had kamikazes. All right. Okay, so we got three in the LA-5 so far. I love the rate of fire of these cannons. I don't have any targets right around me right this minute. I'm going to go ahead and reload my cannons. Gain some altitude. Four enemy planes down. P-39 down there, but he's heading into a boatload of friendlies. Cannons are up. T-38 
two bow fighters coming in. I'm going to concentrate on the second one. So I don't want to go after the first one and have this one behind me. It just doesn't seem like a wise thing to do. been damaged so bad I can't get a good aiming fix on him. This plane is getting very uh, if, if they're flying straight and level, I can, but if they're doing any kind of evasive maneuvers, I'm really having a hard time. I don't know if you can see my, um, what is it, ailerons down there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reload again. shoot at the H6K. Let's go ahead and reload again. JU88. Can't tell which way he's going. BF after him now maybe I'm just talking out the side of my butt here. Okay, 273 still on the cannons. P400 down below me. And an SBD up top. So the P400's got plenty of people on him. I'm gonna make a run on the SBD.
Damn, I'm having trouble. And I'm out. Not going in there with no ammo. This B dude just have to get away. I am liking the BF-110, and my ammo's coming up in four seconds. He took lots of damage from me, but not enough. Oh, there we go. Let's see, you got 91 rounds. The X7. Straight in front of me. Forty-nine rounds. And I'm out. Run away from the fight. A20 tried to shoot me. How dare he? I'm all about returning this favor. Got an assist on that, and a friendly flew in front of me, and I accidentally hit him. Sorry about that. Sorry about the phone. hit reload and I had a target coming right in front. Maybe it'll be up so I can engage it on the back side. Get out of my way friendlies.
<laughs> he got bombed. Okay, somebody needs to cap this airfield. Might as well be me. Loaded and looking for enemy targets. All right. Come back victory, all right. Pretty good, I really enjoyed that game. And we got uh, wing repairs, but why well, yes, I will take some wing repairs. Let's see. Engine injection will give me, whoo! That's a lot to my climb rate. So, uh, TG00888 uh, kicked a little butt with 11 aircraft destroyed. He lost four. I destroyed 10, lost None. I guess they are not giving out this survivor award in this game because I, I thought I qualified. So we ended up with forty one thousand five hundred ninety four. Silver Lions, 4,035 Modification Research, 1,210 Vehicle Research. Now, out of that, for the premium bonus, um, 14,083 Silver Lions was premium, 2,018 um, Modification Research was bonus, and 603 um, vehicle research was bonus. So it's basically half. Um, let me save this replay right quick. So that was a look at the LA-5. Um, didn't need to use the 5F or the 5FN. So I will do those when I do um, my Tier 3 um, fighters. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the LA-5s. They are really good. 
um, they can be a bit um, quirky with uh, a joystick um, so you might need to tweak your settings just a little bit uh, sensitive sensitivity and stuff I, I didn't have mine um, tweaked if you have like a a particular aircraft that you really like to fly um, what you can do is let's just go up here um, in the controls right and you can tweak your um, controls to fit that aircraft that you really love and then come down right here to export and then save those settings name them uh, flight controls for whatever particular aircraft that you have and if you know you're going to be using that particular um, aircraft especially like in historical where you only get the one um, aircraft then just jump over load that because you can get um, import from file you click that you go and load that particular setting and then you have the settings that are just right for that one particular aircraft then you can go back and switch I use this uh, quite often when I need to um, have a particular um, uh, when an aircraft doesn't perform as well on my standard settings I'll make a individual file just for that uh, particular aircraft so uh, I find that helpful and I haven't made one for the LA-5s because I haven't used them that much but uh, I probably will because they're nice aircraft and if I could tweak that just a little bit more um, I think it would be uh, something I used on a regular basis so if you like the video like it if you didn't don't go back and watch some of my previous uh, videos I have uh, plenty of reserve and tier uh, one aircraft reviews now they're mostly fighters I do plan to go back later and do uh, light bombers and bombers um, you may find something that I have previously done that you find um, interesting or helpful. Um, subscribe if you would. I can always use um, some subscribers trying to build the channel. Um, I would appreciate it if you shared the videos to help get the word out. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Nerd out.